Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions we have covered the two libraries in Python that is NumPy and Pandas and from today we are going to discuss about one more library in Python that is Matplotlib. So the main use of using this Matplotlib library is to uh, plot the graphs. So in order to visualize the data then we'll go with this Matplotlib. So the concept is completely uh, by uh, I mean generating the graphs so that we will see one by one so how many graphs how many types of graphs we can uh, represent by using this matplotlib and all these things we will cover in the next session so in today's session I will tell you how to install this matplotlib library so as this is a library in python so we have to install the library before using it so that means some IDEs will be having the predefined libraries so if you take an example with a Jupyter notebook so in the installation of Anaconda distribution, so we'll get a lot of libraries predefinedly installed. So in that, this matplotlib will be one. So I will show you that one. And if you are working with the IDLE, then it is our responsibility to explicitly install this matplotlib library. So we have to use a pip command to install the matplotlib library. So in this session, I am going to show you how to install the matplotlib in IDLE. And also I will show you the in, uh, I will show you the library in Jupyter Notebook. So in the next sessions, uh, I will discuss about each and every type of graph. How can we uh, do the graph, uh, represent the graph and what are the different uh, uh, parameters we need to remember and all these things we will discuss in the further sessions. Right. So let us move on to the system. So I will show you how to install this matplotlib in IDLE. Right. Hello friends. So now we'll see how to install and import the matplotlib in two IDEs that is one is a Jupyter Notebook and another one is IDLE. So coming to the Jupyter Notebook, so a few libraries will be predefinedly installed along with this Anaconda distribution. So if, if matplotlib is in the list, then automatically we need not install this matplotlib directly we can import. So just import the matplotlib, we will get an error if the module is not found and we will not get an, any error if the uh, library is already it is installed. So we will see matplotlib. So you can observe I am importing this one. So if it is not installed we will get an error. So let us check if we get an error or not. So meanwhile you can see. We, we there is no error it means already the matplotlib is already available in Jupyter. so just go to the anaconda folder so after installation the anaconda distribution so click on this folder you will find the prompt so go to the prompt anaconda prompt that's a command prompt and here you can find the libraries which are already been installed so type the command conda list so that it will list out all the libraries which are available in python which are already installed along with the anaconda distribution right so it will it will give the complete list of the libraries which are available so if you want to use those libraries directly we can import those libraries see before uh, it is not necessary to reinstall the libraries you can observe these are all the libraries okay so among these libraries we are having the matplotlib see matplotlib is also available in these libraries so that's why we need not uh, install the matplotlib if you are using the jupyter right and coming to the ideally coming to the ideally go to the import matplotlib so if you are if you are using this ideally to write the programs you can observe so here we got a module not found error so that means this library is not installed in the ideally now we need to install the library just go to the path where we have installed this python just copy this path see copy the copy this path and open the command prompt so this is a process to install matplotlib in ideally so here ch change the directory to that particular location and go to the scripts folder use the command pip install matplotlib so install so that it will start installing first it will download and it, it will install the files so this is the process we need to do for installing any library not only the matplotlib any library can be installed by using the same process 
okay so you can observe here uh, use cached matplotlib and installing collected packages successfully installed matplotlib 3.3.4 so the version of matplotlib we have installed for idlu is 3.3.4 now after that just close the idle and again open the idle and try to import the matplotlib because we have already installed matplotlib just now so install matplotlib import mat plot lib see if there is no error automatically we will get the prompt if there is an error we will get an error so still we are getting some error dll load file failed so dll load failed means there may be a two solutions one is problem with the path second one problem with the uh, visual c++ redistribution code that means a dll dynamic link library okay the fa failing of this library file so we need to install this library file or we can go to the path set the path so just copy the location uh, where we are uh, installing this python and go to the my computer properties so this pc go double right click on this go to the properties and you can find the advanced system settings see this is the, here the advanced system settings click on this advanced system settings and go to the environmental variables and here you can observe the path okay yeah. so edit the path and give the path and here copy the path where you have installed the python so i am clicking this one and here also you can go with the system variables so go to the path if the path is not there go to the new and type here path and copy the content here right i am having the path right here so go to the edit and simply you can go with the semicolon also semicolon and place the path click on okay and click okay and close this one and once again you just try to import the matplotlib import matplotlib so still we are getting the same error so dll error so now there is a problem with the dynamic link library file so we have to download it and we have to update it so go to the google and type here visual c++ redistributable redistributed this is a dll file right so you can observe here support.microsoft.com so this is the place where we can find the file okay so that is a microsoft visual c++ redistributable file that is a dynamic link library file you can observe here there will be three links so go to the 64 bit so x86 so click on this one automatically it will be downloaded and once it was downloaded start executing this one install this one so it will install so it will prompt for this one so i agree for the terms and conditions and click on install so it will ask for installation so once it was completed automatically that implies the dll has been resolved the, the dll problem has been resolved just close this dll i mean ideally so just wait for completion of this process so meanwhile you can uh, subscribe to our channel to get a more videos so you can find the setup successful so just uh, close this one and close and open the idle open the idle and here now you can import matplotlib see automatically there is no error okay automatically we are not having any error so like this we can install the matplotlib and we can import the matplotlib so uh, this process is only for if you are using the idle and if you are using the jupyter so that is not required directly we can import the matplotlib right so hope you understood this uh, installation and importing of matplotlib so if you are having any doubts regarding this installation process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you real enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much